My name is Aisha Driggers. I'm with the City of Columbia Office of Business Opportunities. I'm so excited that you're here with us this morning. About earlier this year, uh, Ms. Shepard reached out to me just to kind of figure out what uh, some of the resources that we have. So I think that just speaks to her diligence to see what's available out there. I think she called us around 3.30 in the afternoon and said she closed at 4. So I pulled up one of our staff members and we ran over here real quick to come and meet her and just talk about her story and some of the challenges she's faced. So we are so proud to be here today. Um, I think it also speaks to the, co to the collaboration because she also invites other creative entrepreneurs to share in her space. So at the city, we hope that we continue to foster that type of creative thinking and entrepreneurship. And so we're just excited to be here and share this time with you on this rainy day, but it's bright in here, it feels like sunshine. So we're excited to be here. So at this time, I would like to introduce the City of Columbia Mayor, Daniel J. Rickham. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is very exciting. I know that, um, you know, it's actually really exciting for us as a city because almost all the openings that we have done over the last several months have been women-owned businesses, which I think says something really incredible about our community. And it has been a very diverse group of women who have started businesses and branched out. And I think that's incredible. And, you know, people always talk about South Carolina. They always say, oh, well, you know, we're 48th in this or we're that. But we're actually in the top five of women-owned businesses, which I think is an incredible statement. And as we see continued growth and coming in, but it, as Aisha said, you know, it's, it may be raining outside, but it's sunny inside here today because we're here to celebrate something. I know you've been here since January, but we're so excited to be part of this this opening that we're having today and what a collaboration you know everything from laundry detergent to deodorant to toothpaste to lotions to body butters all made sold here but along with an eclectic uh, uh, collection of jewelry I just learned about waste jewelry that I didn't know about uh, which was incredible it comes from the Congo but is it not only a sign of who you are but a sign of of moving forward and wealth so what an incredible thing to see but all the jewelry here and all the aspects is such great to have this right here in the Arcadia Mall it's available to everybody downtown and Miss Shepard it's so exciting for you and I, I, it's such a pleasure to meet you and, and I'm excited about what you're doing and uh, you know she does private labeling I mean she is an entrepreneur and this is what we want our young women in Columbia to look up to. A woman who took a chance, did, wasn't scared, wasn't worried about the hurdles. In the, and I think you probably look at those hurdles as opportunities and you just moved on right through them. Failure is, is like, that's just not an option. And so with that, I just want to give you a hand. And just say thank you for making investment in the city and you know whatever we can do to continue to support you. You've got the best person in the world to be right there next to you. Can't say enough about our OBO office. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Matt Kennel to say a few words. Thank you very much, Mayor Rickman, and welcome, Ms. Shepard and Aisha. Thank you for your remarks. Uh, we are just so thrilled to see the return of shopping bag retail on Main Street. Um, the revitalization of Main Street has been a long process with some ups and downs over the last 20 years, but the pinnacle of that is shopping bag. It's when people can come, buy something, carry it around. We love to see bags go up and down Main Street. It, it just changes the whole atmosphere of the area. And as the mayor said, we've had so many openings recently uh, from people from all around the world. I mean, it's a very diverse mix of people, lots of women-owned business, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit. It's kind of everything that we hope will happen uh, seems like it's happening. So we just are just so excited that you've made this commitment to Main Street and to the arcade building, which again, this is a wonderful building. It's, you know, one of the oldest shopping malls in the United States right here in Columbia, and it's a, it's a real treasure. And it's just so good to see you and, and, be, and be part of that. And I just want to let you know that the Main Street District staff, and, and we're here to support you, to help you, and anything we can do to help your business grow, uh, we'll do that. So 
again, welcome, thank you, and thank you for everybody that helped make this possible. It's just so good to see everybody out here on such a dreary day. And that's, what did the mayor say? It's still sunny today here. So uh, when you're the mayor, it's always a sunny day. Right? Every day. <laughs> so we're happy about that. But welcome very much. We're really, really happy uh, that you're here today. And I think now, I think Ms. Fleming is going to make a few remarks. Is that right? And then Ms. Shepard. Thank you very much. Come on. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and members of our vibrant community, it is with great pleasure and excitement that we gather here today to celebrate the grand opening of Raw Essence Natural Soaps. I am honored to stand before you as we witness the realization of a dream, a testament to the spirit of entrepreneurship, diligence, and perseverance. Raw Essence Natural Soaps is not just a store. It is the embodiment of a vision brought to life by a remarkable individual. Today we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of the driving force behind this establishment, the proud owner Antoine Shepherd. Antoine's journey is not uh, Antoine's journey to this moment has marked has been marked by unwavering determination, and a commitment to excellence. As a women-owned and black-owned business, Raw Essence Natural Soap stands as a beacon of empowerment and inspiration for our community. Antoine's success is not only a personal triumph, but a collective achievement uh, that resonates with diversity and inclusion. The path to entrepreneurship is not always easy, and it requires diligence and perseverance. Antoine's story is the shining example of overcoming challenges, breaking barriers, and turning dreams into reality. In the face of adversity, she has demonstrated resilience and an unyielding belief in the power of hard work. This store, is more than just a place to purchase uh, exceptional natural soaps. It is the symbol of community strength and unity. Antoine has not only created a business, but a space where people can come together, support one another, and celebrate the richness of our diverse community. As we cut the ribbon and officially open Raw Essence Natural Soaps, let us not only celebrate the new business, but also recognize the achievement of a dedicated entrepreneur. May this store be the source of inspiration for others to pursue their dreams, and may it continue to thrive as a hub for our, for our community. Congratulations, Antoine Shepard, on this remarkable achievement. May raw essence natural soaps flourish and become an integral part of our community's fabric. Thank you for your dedication and here's to a bright and successful future. Thank you everyone for being here. Um, as Ms. Rhonda has said, it has been a difficult journey, um, but I have persevered with the help of my family and friends, and I've had a wonderful support system, and I thank everybody who's been there for me. Thank you all for being here and celebrating the grand opening of Raw Essence Natural Soaps and Bath Company. <laughs> And I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. And thank you, Miss Aisha, for all that you've done. <laughs> this is just a lot. <laughs> so again, I thank you all for being here. Thank you all for the support. And just celebrate with us as we cut the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs>